Damn it. It's getting hard to keep my eyes open. I've been going now for what, six hours? <laughs> and we still have another six to go. Ugh. I am going to have to find a place to stay for the night. At least Lamb is getting some rest. I still remember them running around trying to grab everything we needed. Damn it. What the hell did I get us into? Maybe we should have just taken a flight. But... I'm not sure where they have connections, and I don't really trust anyone in the city right now. <laughs> Me, not trusting anyone in the city. My home. My home that I just up and fled. <sighs> No. No, you didn't just up and leave. You went to get back up. You went to get help. Because there is no way in hell you could have taken down a group of that size and power on your own. You'll be back. You already made sure your landlord knew you were going to be gone for a few weeks and not to let anyone in. You and Lamb cleared out as much of the office as possible, and everything is loaded up in the truck. <laughs> I guess it was a good idea to still have the truck in the city. Not like I use it there, but it helps in a sticky situation. Like the one we're in right now. <laughs> I think the first smile I got out of Lamb since we left that club was when they saw my big red pickup truck. I don't think they were expecting that. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, okay. I need to find a place to sleep tonight. Hey, little lamb. Morning, sleepyhead. Hey, no, don't apologize for falling asleep. You needed the rest. I do need you to do something for me real quick. Can you look up hotels in the area? I think we need to stop for the night. <laughs> I appreciate the gung-ho attitude, Lamb, but I'm still tired from everything that happened, and I think we both need to find a good place to sleep for the night. Tomorrow, you can drive. Sound good? <laughs> okay. Hotel, motel, inn, anything that has a bed. We're not looking to stay for a vacation, just a night. Yeah, that will work. How far away is it? Perfect. Hopefully we can find a good coffee place in the morning. Oh, it feels good to stretch my legs. I hate being that cramped up. Well, part of it is because I'm a werewolf. And the other part is because... I'm a pretty big guy, and 
I like space to move. I haven't really had to drive for that long in quite some time. I am used to walking everywhere, so this is a new feeling. I've got our bags, don't worry. What? Well, you are giving me a look. It's a cute look, but it's still a look. It's not showing off. I just don't want you to have to carry a heavy bag when I can do it without any effort. You look like you're about to fall over sideways. Let's just go in and get a room. This hotel looks nice, so we should be fine. Uh, Lamb, the price doesn't matter. I have money and it's just for a night. Now, let's get going before I fall over from how tired I am. Good evening, how can I help you tonight? Yeah, we need a room for two. Preferably with two separate beds. Alright, let me see what we have. Unfortunately, we don't have any rooms with two extra beds. Um, we do have a California king-sized room up on the top floor. Perfect for couples. Uh, oh, no, we're not... What are they doing? And why are they acting like that? Wait, boyfriend? Oh, well, isn't he a gentleman? I can assure you the California king-sized beds are big enough to give you two rooms should you, you know, want to respect the premarital side of things. What is going on? How many nights? All right. So, I'll just need a card to put on file, and y'all can head right up. Right here. Thank you. All right, you're all set. Your room is 609. Just take the elevators to the right and head on up. Here are your key cards, and you have a good night, you two lovebirds. So, you want to tell me what that was about? The boyfriend thing, Lamb. Cover story, huh? Huh. <laughs> Look at this little thing thinking ahead. I don't think we have anyone looking for us, Lamb. Well, that is true. You never know. And they will be looking for two professionals traveling together. Not a cute couple just passing through on their... What did you say we were on? Our first couple's vacation together? <laughs> you didn't have to paint me to be some church boy, though. Oh, just shy. Okay. Brat. I called you a brat. Because you are one. <laughs> All right, what room did they say again? 609? Right. All right, uh, this way. Nice place. Big bed. Nice bathroom. Yep. 
I'll be able to sleep soundly tonight. Why don't you take a shower first, and I'll take one after. Maybe they still have room service going, and we can grab something to eat. Oh man, that felt good. See? Staying at a place was not a bad idea for the night. And, with room service on the way, we'll soon have food and then can just rest easy and head out early in the morning. Don't worry, I made sure to lock up the back of the truck after I grabbed the bags. We're good. <laughs> what? Oh, the towel. Um, I forgot to bring my change of clothes in with me. Yeah, I have a lot of tattoos. Most of them are family-related, but some of them are just because I like them. <sighs> Lamb, stop looking at me like that, please. I only have a towel on. And it will be really hard to hide what you're doing to me. Can you get that and I'll get some clothes on? Please, please tell me I brought thicker sweatpants. Please tell me I brought thicker sweatpants. Okay, I did. Good. Uh, let me just get this stuff on. Uh, fuck the shirt right now. Let me... <laughs> let me be... a little bad. Alright, decent. And damn, that looks good. I just ordered some basic stuff. Nothing fancy. I wasn't too sure what you'd want. You know, you look cute in that fluffy robe you've got. I guess it is a little cold in here. Let's sit at the table. We have a coffee machine in the room. Do you want me to make you some tea to help you warm up? There's also the soup that I ordered. I know you're okay. I just... I feel guilty for dragging you into this. For putting you in danger. If I never had you come to work for me, you wouldn't be in this mess. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I must have dozed off for a second. Yeah, you can ask me anything. Oh, werewolves being protectors. Yeah, <sighs> it's a story that all wolves are told when we're little. Almost like a fairy tale, but we wolves live by it. Or at least most of us do, I guess. Well, the story goes that back in the old days, the fates and the moon goddess saw that humans didn't have a proper defense against the other creatures that roamed the nights. Vampires, demons, witches. Sure, they could fight, but more often than not, they would lose. So, the great beings decided that to balance the scales, they would choose two people, a man and a woman, to merge with two dire wolves. And 
become the first werewolves. The strength, speed, and instincts of a wolf matched with the humanity and cunning of man. It was enough to tip the balance back. So, from then on, we were seen as protectors. Worshipped even at one point. But, like most things, humans grew weary of us and our powers. We had to hide in the shadows, but we still protected them, cared for them, and made sure that they would never have to fear that which hides in the dark. Of course our numbers have dwindled a bit and we can't really keep everyone safe, but we still try. I have never seen a werewolf go rogue like what we saw, though. I can understand not going out of your way to protect humans, but going so far as to offer them up on a silver platter? <sighs> it's a pervasion of everything we stand for. Everything that we are. It's sick, and I want to go back and rip both of their heads off for disrespecting the line we came from. For disrespecting the reason we were given this gift. <sighs> Sorry. My parents used to tell us that story with such pride. So, to see those two werewolves... No, not werewolves... Those two monsters take what we are and use it to just benefit themselves. It makes me so angry. <sighs> no, I don't agree with them. Why would you ask me that? I've... Never seen lamb like this. Closing themselves in like that. Lamb, are you okay? Hey, 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 no. They are not right. And even if you do have secrets, so what? Everyone does. That doesn't make you a bad person. That doesn't mean you're not worth protecting. Lamb, look at me. You are worth protecting. You are worth taking a chance on. You are worth so much and I am going to keep you safe. You, Lopez, our friends... I'm going to keep all of us safe. I promise. <sighs> you look really tired. Maybe we should get to bed. You can take the bed. I'll shift and take the floor. Besides, it's been a while since I shifted, and I could really do with a night in that form. <laughs> and this room is just big enough. Lamb, it's okay. I, I feel really cramped up right now anyway, so... Did they just ask? I mean, yeah, it's a big bed... And the frame seems sturdy enough to hold my weight, but... Lamb, are you sure you want to sleep next to a huge wolf? Huh. They don't want to feel alone. Oh, Lamb. You are never alone with me. Okay. We can do that then. Um... How about you get in and I'll shift, okay? <laughs> I don't shed, lamb. Werewolf magic.
So don't worry about me leaving fur all over the place. Oh, that's better. Oh. Is Lamb all tucked in? Good. Then let me carefully get in. Hmm. This bed is really strong. I wonder what type of material this furniture is made out of. They seem at ease with me. I'll just give them some breathing room and... Huh? Huh? Uh, lamb, with you pressed up against me like that, I can feel you shaking. It's okay, Lamb. I'm here, and I'm not going anywhere. I'll keep you safe if it's the last thing I do. I promise. <laughs> 